Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And um, as you see here, Proverbs 4 and 23. Um, keep thy heart or thy mind with all diligence. Okay, meaning uh, you got to have your mind right. All right, you have to keep your mind because the Hebrew word for heart. All right, if you didn't know, when you see the word heart now, the heart. Okay, um, is tied, you know, to the senses, but where the Lord deals with man, you know, is his uh, brain. All right, the second brain is kind of like the stomach. Okay, but the heart, you know, it, it plays a a part in everything but ultimately what the lord deals with man is in his mind so the hebrew word for heart okay is lab okay which means the inner man with heart understanding and you do that in your mind thinking reflect you're able to reflect that's a sense you know they, they say it's only what uh six senses <laughs> you know but, but the the you know, the ability to reflect, the ability to um, have deja vu, you know, <laughs> those are senses, the, the ability to dream. You know, all of those things happen in your mind. <laughs> it all happens in the mind. It's not something you can put your hands on, but you see it. <laughs> you can literally picture anything you want in your mind right now. As crazy as that sounds, <laughs> all right? But the, the, the Heavenly Father gave that sense unto man. And that's where he deals with, you know, uh, his chosen. It's like and that's the temple, okay? The, the you know, the, 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 the heads, the brains, <laughs> okay? Uh, the, the uh, what they call it, the pineal gland of the elect, where the Most High, you know, through his only begotten sons, you know, sends you the Holy Spirit, wisdom. Okay, and you figure things out, all right? But inclination, resolution, determination, okay? Seat of appetites, your desires are in your mind, and they play out, all right, when you don't put it in check in ways that are not beneficial to the body, all right? And you have a lot of people who are just now coming into the fact that they're Israelites, Okay, and you're coming into it from the aspect of black culture and you're just talking shit, you're being rude, you're being disrespectful, you're being impatient, you're being entitled. All right, uh, uh, and very disrespectful. And judgment is getting ready to go out. Okay, so you, you, you people who are coming onto these comment boards, both you men and women, you need to check yourself, man, or you can get the hell out of here. If you can want to respectfully ask a question, do that. But don't don't come spewing all of this goddamn garbage, giving us your breakdown. Go do your breakdown on your page. The hell you come? You don't you don't go to uh, uh, McDonald's with with your hamburger. Uh, this is my burger. We go we go we go sell this today. Try this uh, recipe. You don't do that to the so-called white man. But then when you come amongst the men of the Lord, as a matter of fact, let's get that in Ecclesiastes 5. You know, and I got a bunch of scriptures, so we're going to see how many we get through. All right. Your attitude towards the most high. And this is what we've lost as a people. We've become rash. We've become rude. We have no regard of what we say unto one another. We have no regard of, uh, you know, um, you know, when and when not to say something and we we don't understand that the energy we put out you know as people say in the world the energy you put out you know it returns into you and this is why the people find themselves in uh, crazy destructive situations it's because of who you are you you are what you receive <laughs> you are what you put out you see and there's a lot of judgment going out you don't want to be one in the spirit of just disrespect because you don't do that to the so-called white man he's been telling you you a monkey you got a low iq 
You see, you don't go to his classrooms challenging him. But when you come amongst the men of the Lord, because you see men who look like you and you got daddy issues. OK, or you got uh, uh, you're a woman with issues with a, 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 a loser you lay with who dogs you out. OK, and left after an argument. OK, argument over a, over a pot. OK, and, and, and the whole family's broken. He leaves you and the kids. That's a curse. All right, that's in the curses that that would happen. And you come to the page and you see uh, a so-called black man usurping authority, and and uh, uh, you know teaching the scriptures. You have to somehow, some way, uh, take your anger that you have from situations and issues you had as a kid and high school sweethearts and all this uh, uh, bugged out thing that has nothing to do with us. <laughs> you portray it on us, your you niggas with your daddy issues. There's a lot of uh, uh, so-called black men in all of the tribes who, when they see male authority, they have to rebel against it. Okay? They, they have to be disrespectful. It's just a, a way. <laughs> you know? And that, that leads to uh, niggas getting shot in the head. Okay? A crime. Because it's all the judgment of the Lord. And this is why our people continuously find themselves... In a, in, a, in, a, in a situation where the Heavenly Father ain't in their favor because of the way that they are, your doings. Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High. Okay, when you come to these videos, you know, our apostles, our elders, or the, the bishops, you know, the uh, the brothers. Okay, uh, the, the other the, the there are other camps who teach the truth and sincerity and truth. That's the house of the Lord. Okay? And you, you should have more respect. And a lot of you are just coming into the, the, the understanding that you're Israelites, but you bring your uh, weirdo, psychotic ways from the world when you was taking all that goddamn medicine. And now you're trying to suppress it with the herbs and it ain't really working because you're a demon. And you, 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 your, your trauma from this black experiences in america or whatever experience you have okay it has tainted you as an individual <laughs> you got to get over that when you come into the truth and you got to be on point you got to be respectful that's one thing our people lack is respect a lot of you israelites keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of god and be more ready to hear than to give the, the sacrifice of fools. Okay? And a lot of you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You can't break down the, the virgin birth. You don't understand Genesis 1 and 1. You don't even understand the basics. So it will behoove you to, to listen. Be appreciative of what the Heavenly Father has done in raising up brothers who are, who are able to go into these topics, the prophecies, keep you updated and edified. But here you come with your opinion. One nigga came and said, we, the, the only reason there's a 12 tribes chart is because we want to travel there and deal with heathen women. Hey, what the hell is wrong with you, bro? Just a, a whole essay of his emotion. And you're like, what is wrong with this nigga? It's like, uh, 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 I, don't, <laughs> this is a nigga, I don't know what's wrong with these, ca uh, these cats, man. They're given the you you suit you're so fervent to give the sacrifice of a fool instead of sitting back. There every thought don't have to be typed out and, and you don't have to always press enter. Every thought doesn't even need to come out of your mouth. Okay, you gotta be mindful as an Israelite. This is something that 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 uh forwards you know more peace. Okay, when everybody's holding themselves accountable. And, and understanding where they are in the Holy Spirit and, and being appreciative of what the Lord is doing. He said he will raise us up in the latter days and that would be through the prophets preaching the word, man. This is a serious thing, man. We don't want to deal with your stupid ass folly. For they consider not that they do evil. Be not rash with thy mouth and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High. For God is in heaven, 
and thou upon the earth, let thy words be few. You see that? This is advice from King Solomon, which outside of Yahweh Shai was the wisest man to ever walk the earth. Okay? Before him, it was Adam. <laughs> All right? The, the information that, that, that Adam had, you know, the, the name the animals and w what he understood about the elements and the earth and, the, you know, how to harvest and man. Okay? Uh, 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 high level science because all science means is to know knowledge you know he knew a lot okay but he had the wisdom on how to actually use these particular uh elements and animals that the heavenly father all right so that it worked for the earth to flourish and it's all fulfilled in the law the way okay so we're not supposed to be rash with our mouth you see and there's too many rash Okay, let's look at the word rash. There's too much rash behavior going on on these common boards. Brothers doing videos, going into uh, situations and things that are happening amongst the church, exhorting brothers, and you come onto the common board, all right, talking about why y'all throw up curses on your brother. Who who are we cursing? Who did we curse? Okay, well, but 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 even in that, the scriptures go into how if a man teach another doctrine outside of the true doctrine, let him be accursed. Okay, Paul said that he put Satan on men so that they can get jacked up and repent. Okay, but we don't, and we push, you know, the brothers, you know, every situation and every individual that necessarily, you know, that that rubs you the wrong way doesn't. You don't need to throw up a curse on every situation. Some things are tests. Some things are lessons. All right, but there, hey, there, there's particular times where the Lord will put the spirit like he did with Jeremiah in Jeremiah, the 18th chapter, to throw up a curse on Israel because of their wickedness. So be not rash. And that's the thing of black culture. OK, to, to be rash. That's a way we learn because really what what black culture mimics is ultimately Edomite culture because he he cultivated you in his way. His he made you in his image while he had you in slavery. He made you hate one another, made you love him, look at him as God, trust him. He made you he made you to the to, to fall follow after his ways in a form of you know the you know, dealing with little boys and men dealing with men and this. He, he jacked you up. He jacked our people up. The Lord allowed him to do that, though. <laughs> That's how crazy it is. But the word is ba, ba, uh, Bahal. Okay. To disturb, to alarm, to terrify, to hurry. Okay. To be disturbed, to be anxious. All right, meaning you you you're guided by the flesh. You can't be guided by the flesh. You have to think, especially in these times. So going back to the scripture, you you have to think. You have to fight the flesh. You have to make sure in every situation you're applying the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay, the, you you apply Yahweh Shai in every situation. In any situation you're in, you could always tie it to something Yahweh Shai went through, and how he handled it. All right. And vengeance is the Lord's. These people are getting ready to pay. OK. So if you trust and believe that, you know, every little situation, you're not uh, 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 thrown, you know, over, you know, it's, it's, it's some things you just, you know, wink at, man. So keep thine heart. Proverbs 4 and 23 with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. See, Keep thine heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Okay, so what comes out of your mind and what eventually comes out of your mouth, all right, uh, 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 are, are closely associated, all right, with, 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 with your life. All right, they, in the world, they talk about karma. They talk about, you know, the, 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 what you put out, you receive. It returns unto you. And I've been on the receiving end of that. Uh, uh, have done something 
are wicked in the world or in a, in a situation or even while you were in the truth and you know when the Lord judged you for something. Okay? It's because of what you did. You were rash and you, you chose the flesh and you didn't have appreciation for what the Lord has set up here in these latter days. You're not moved by the, uh, the, the tune of prophecy. The new song doesn't interest you. You just hear the information grab and talk shit. Well, we're not here to hear your shit. We don't want you around us. Go uh, 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 and follow these other camps. Why are you always coming buzzing around us? <laughs> okay. Put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips put far from thee. And you have a lot of forward, okay, uh, uh, behavior in Israel, man. Okay, women getting on the video, the uh, talk about the the Most High uh, has has opened her mind to get the the true Hebrew correct in the middle of the Lord on the Hebrew. <laughs> oh man! All right, the word is I ka shawath. All right, distortion, crookedness, forward. Okay, perversity. All right, and you, you and, and see, we as Israelites, we're supposed to be coming into the path of righteousness, and we're supposed to know. Let's get this in the book of Ecclesiastes, the eighth chapter. With the you know, you're supposed to be looking at everything going on around you, like. Ecclesiastes 8 and 5 Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing And a wise man's heart We know that means mind Discerneth both time and judgment So you, you're supposed to be looking at everything going on And your mind is supposed to be changing You're not supposed to be walking in a, a rash, rude, disrespectful Stupid, ignorant way Because you know hey, judgment is getting ready to go out As a matter of fact, this scripture speaks to that in Sirach, the 18th chapter, in the 20th verse, it says, Before judgment, examine thyself, and in the day of visitation thou shalt find mercy. All right, so we know judgment is coming forward. So you want to examine yourself, okay? We're not just a bunch of crazy niggas, although we are crazy because you have to have a an edge on you to do what we do you have to have a a peculiar spirit <laughs> which you know in this world it makes you foolish but the uh the trading point you know what we get in return is the wisdom the understanding you know the the light amongst all of the darkness so that we can you know have a, a chance to separate ourselves from this wicked and perverse generation okay we're gonna jump down to verse 27, Sirach the 18th chapter, a wise man will fear in everything, and in the day of sinning he will beware of offense, but a fool will not observe time. You're having men operating as heads of camps, okay, uh, uh, not aware, no awareness, it don't matter, they don't know, uh, they don't care who they say in front of who, what they say in front of who, talking about brothers, being rash, being rude, talking down on brothers, you know, being tyrants, manipulating situations. You have all kind of shit going. That's why men get tossed out of the camp and then they get mad and try to create a whole narrative that, that <laughs> that's far from the truth and people fail after it. But that's the power of the Lord. You see? Through absolutely through okay promoting rebellion against the very man whom the lord used to 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 wake you up you see that that is a that is a fool right there that is that is a man who doesn't have any fear of the lord because if we're calling ourselves the tabernacle of david okay when when saul was attacking david okay uh, uh un uh, he, he, it was wicked It wasn't justified He was just in his feelings He was in his flesh So he was attacking David David never spoke any ill against Saul Okay He didn't sit there And, 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 and every uh, uh, writing he wrote 
you know you just heard him talking bad about Saul he was very very careful about his dealing with Saul because he understood that that was the first anointed king of Israel you know so he the, 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 he had to be you know the uh, you know the, the hey you <laughs> you know and David was respectful of that although Saul was in the wrong spirit if you're truly of the 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 house of David then those are the fruits you're going to show forth you're not going to create this whole campaign against the men whom the Lord used okay to bring you in, uh, into the truth so that you can have a chance because men are a part of the word of the Lord being spread on the planet earth. I don't, in every generation, it was men who the Lord raised up. Okay, who, who were in the forefront of the affairs of this word going out in the church. And that, that church is here today. The tabernacle of David is being rebuilt in these times. Okay. So a wise man will fear in everything and in the day of sinning, he will beware of offense because see, as we read up here, all right, in verse 20, before judgment, examine thyself and in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. The Lord is getting ready to visit this earth and you don't want to be one to where it's too late where all you did as an Israelite, all right, because judgment is going to begin at the house of the Lord amongst you who know you Israelites all you did was just talk shit you didn't change you just a nigga who knew you were an Israelite man you didn't use this wisdom to better yourself and to be a representation or representative of the most high God Yahweh through Yahweh Shai on the earth through the Holy Spirit that's what your duty is as an Israelite and see when when it goes to walking in the way of Yahweh Shai Israel is not interested they're not interested into putting off this world for the one to come you see so the message of the prophets really bother our people they don't want to hear it okay and, and, and again when you see a so-called black man in a position of authority it, it's ingrained in you to to rebel against it you see this is why our people are so on fire and fervent to be disrespectful to the men of the Lord because you are of your father, the devil. Okay? So, Psalms 110 and 3, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, and in the beautiness of the holiness of the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. So, our people are going to be willing <laughs> when the Lord really puts his power on the men of the Lord, and then it's over for you. Okay? Because before it's all said and done, Jake is going to come after the prophets. Particular camps are getting ready to start walking up on, on other camps. The, the, the left hand is getting ready to uh, try to make a move on the men of the Lord. And they're going to lose. Because Jake is going to be blaming the men of the Lord for everything that's happening to Jake. Because Esau is getting ready to open up on you niggas. And... Y'all are going to say it's y'all Israelites that's making them hate us. It's y'all message. Y'all going to blame us. Watch. And the Jake is going to come after us before Esau rolls. We're going to have to deal with Jake. All right. But the spirit of the Lord, okay, is going to ultimately fight you off. The gates of hell will not prevail. Even unto the elite. Okay. But. While we're here, as the scriptures say, if you desire thrones and scepters and rulership in the, in the finer things of life, well, honor wisdom first. Apply wisdom. That's what you want to be as an Israelite. You want to apply wisdom, the, the, the way of these scriptures that you're reading, unto yourself and walk it. All right? To the best of your ability. Give yourself the better chance. Do good unto thyself. You got to love yourself too, right? Well, you got to believe in yourself. So what do you do? You, you, you do that through what? Fearing the Lord. All right? <laughs> Watching what you do. Proverbs 18 and 21. Debt. <laughs> Debt. <laughs> like New Orleans. All right? Uh, death. And life are in the power of the tongue. See, what you say as an Israelite, man, 
you know, now that you know you're an Israelite, <laughs> you know, what you what you say and what you put out, you know. All right, remember we read, okay, in uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, I believe. Okay, uh, keep thy mind. All right, for in it are the issues of life. What do you What do you do when you're keeping something? You're watching over it. So there, there's particular emotions you may have. Okay, in your mind, you don't have to always speak that. You can fight that battle in your mind and not spew it and ruin everybody else's goddamn day. You have to know and observe when and what not to say. See, death and life are in the power of the tongue. What you speak is powerful. They say words are, uh, <laughs> words don't hurt. Yes, they do. The scriptures say uh, uh, the power of the tongue can break bones. <laughs> you can destroy somebody with what you say. Okay, and, and you have particular men who are leaders who speak death, you know, unto the, 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 the men under them, man. Just just total tyrants, man. Just being completely unruly, man. Saying what they want to say, doing what they want to do. With no fear of the Lord. And you don't think the Lord is going to find you out? How could you not fear the Lord right now? Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Let's read this in the NLT. So I just got a bunch of scriptures. We're going to read what I got into the script. The spirits say stop, you know. NLT. The tongue can bring death a life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. There you go. And this is what happens in black culture where you see constant judgments. You know, even the rappers, every week there's a new rapper. I believe the elite are just playing a video game called, you know, the, you know, uh, off the rappers. You know, uh, you know this is like, a, uh, what, what's going on here? Okay, you had this one record label called Empire Records. Every damn member on the record label then died. Okay, and you know I don't even, who who knows what the hell Esau. I just know he's the devil, man. But when you look at these niggas who be dying, whether it be in the streets or whether it be sacrifices, it's all centered around death. They speak their own, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, their own downfall into existence through what they say. See, and what are the prophets supposed to be speaking into existence? The kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> we have the kingdom of heaven in the form of this word. You see, <laughs> that's what's going to lead to the kingdom of heaven. What we speak. You see. So. The tongue can bring death or life. You have to know that as an Israelite, you can't be just walking around. All right. Just 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 co co continually wearing your 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 uh, emotions and. Pushing and pushing, you know, got people who have self-esteem issues and um, they think lowly of themselves. They don't really believe in themselves. So how they feel about themselves, they project it on you. OK, they project project the anger out on you and, and force you <laughs> to be the one <laughs> that's causing that thought. You're the one who 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 thinks they're dumb. It's like nigga, what what? Anyway, you got all kind of weirdos, man, and we, all kind of demons do play all of us as Israelites. We're all mental cases, all right. We were literally just taken out of a hardcore captivity and thrown into the earth, you know. And you know the Lord <laughs> allowed provision to where our parents made it and. You know, had us to come into the earth and to repent, you know. <laughs> anyway, Proverbs 10 and 31. The mouth of the just bring it forth wisdom, but the forward tongue should be cut out. You see, the lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked spread it forwardness. 
okay and the energy of the new world order is is rude is disrespectful this generation is very rash very disrespectful you know very forward very perverse very disorderly and we don't want to be uh, uh, uh representations of that okay uh uh in this truth man this is proverbs 17 and 20 he that hath a forward mind find it no good and he that hath a perverse tongue falleth in the mischief and this is why niggas are constantly in the friction <laughs> all right and this is why sometimes we find ourselves in the uh, too much mischief because we 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 speak things on ourselves man all right you want to speak life as much as possible while you have the uh this 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 grace period okay and good things as the scriptures say are going to come to those that do good what's that in the book of uh psalms so we have to improve our conduct you know yeah we we're coming out of all of these different backgrounds but you still have to cultivate yourself in the way of the holy scriptures you still have to apply these you know particular principles that were once you know uh prevalent you know in our culture the, the respect of the elders all right even when you disagree there's a way to respectfully disagree okay do a video go, go, go into your position and hey we'll go into ours there's nothing wrong with that i don't agree because of this or you you have right under liberty to say you don't agree okay right well then what then you you just gotta try to continuously d destroy them and call them niggas and you know uh, put their uh pictures in the in the video frame and you know talk shit to men who have labored okay and have uh you know put their 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 uh emotions and lust of this world to the side and serve the lord man which is a beautiful thing because that's the only way we're going to get out of here all right if moses didn't come along with aaron in egypt the plagues and the the victory wouldn't have been that they were there to speak it into existence the heavenly father told them to say things and things happened okay and he sent his angel <laughs> all right which that angel was coming to deliver us but he wants to find us walking in the way in the mindset of uh, expectation of, of victory and in the way we walk you literally are uh, uh, and walk in a pistol you speak the end into existence through who you are all right so you want to do good and be respectful of what the heavenly father has set up all right and and and, and not walk in a black way black culture needs to be thrown away in the trash it needs to be burned up it did not work it was the so-called white man science project it was a failure that is not a way that a man should be that is not a way that a woman should be this is not the way a family should be ran this is not the way a nation should be ran we know we're against the whole system however all right we we're here and we have to uh wait on the lord right so while you're waiting all right you want to use this word to literally all right change man all right and so much to 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 grab hold to in 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 these uh these, these scriptures this is the book of psalms 125 and 3 for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity for the rod of wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous and what is the rod of the wicked his gun his billy club his taser <laughs> his his a uh, mischief okay uh his his ability to you know manipulate judgment and be wicked he, he he's just the, the damn devil okay but it doesn't rest on a lot of the righteous lest the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity do good O lord to unto those that be good and to them that are upright in their minds see that word hearts 
See, that's what the Lord is looking for, the inward man. You have a lot of people who focus their walk around outward appearance and, you know, putting themselves out there and gaining attention and selling their brand. All right. But there, there, there's there's only a few uplifting Yahweh by Shimei All right. And putting this world off and ultimately following. All right. In a way that's conducive for the nation to have a meal for the sheep to be fed constantly. OK, <laughs> you have a buffet of all right, the Holy Spirit, man, you know, through each brother is a portal. You know, you know, pretty much the key, the key of David, you know, the keys of the kingdom, you know, uh, starts with access into this, this knowledge. So each brother speaking, you know, is like a portal or access, you know, to the father through whatever measure the heavenly father has given that brother. OK, but those who have that wisdom, you, you got to understand, you got to walk. As an Israelite, you got to really apply Yahweh Shai because we've grown up in cultures to where Yahweh Shai's way, as his image has been crucified here, Yahweh Shai's way is not the, you know, most Christians, they don't think about sacrifice. They don't think about putting off this world. We can't have that mindset. They're not here. They don't they, they don't serve. They're all everything is self, me, me, me. All right, where the Messiah's his his decision making and what he did su surrounded and was predicated upon the elect. See, he Yahweh Shai could have took down Rome at the snap of a finger, but that would have been going against the will of the Lord. All right, <laughs> he was obedient unto his sacrifice. Now it says, "So do good unto those that be good." Okay. As for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Israel. So there's a lot of judgment getting ready to come down on a lot of our people. You see? Let's get the book of Sirach 20 and 5. It says, there is one that keep it silent and is found wise. Another by much babbling becoming hateful. And a lot of your comments are, are becoming, you know, uh, ridiculously annoying. To where you, you never know. The Heavenly Father could just see that you rubbed a particular brother the wrong way and just send judgment down, down, down the pipe. <laughs> You got to understand you're dealing with the rebuilding of the tabernacle of David. All right. The brothers that you see teaching in sincerity and truth, these ain't just no regular men. But see, our people, since they hate the uh, uh, the authority of the Israelite male anyway, because that's what this world is predicated upon, the upliftment of the woman. OK, in the, uh, you know, the downtrodding of the man challenge the man always. You know, make the man uncomfortable. Never trust the, you know, the man is just the worst thing, right? As if women are so goddamn innocent. Right? <laughs> it makes no sense that Israelites are still struggling over women getting got on. Like, like what? The, the Bible clearly addresses both men and women. Openly, harshly, straight to the point. <laughs> All right, it ain't good. OK. There is one that keep it silent and is found wise and another by, by much babbling becoming hateful. So sometimes it's wise to just shut the fuck up. OK. And you'll find yourself in a better situation, but because you want to say something and be rude and try to hurt somebody feelings. <laughs> That's what the scriptures talks about. Your teeth are as knives. You just want you just want to devour and irritate and hurt the men of the Lord. Like you, you, this is bloodthirst spirit on a lot of you. But that's all right. You know, we, we really, when we go through that, you brothers, that is ultimately, you have to feel what Yahweh Shai felt. You see? And you have to walk it and you have to apply Yahweh Shai. Okay? Who, let's get this real quick. 
uh, reviled. Let's see, reviled not. This is a uh, First Peter's. All right, Hamashiach is our example. You have to apply this. You have to really look at what that man did. <laughs> you know, that's the man right there. That is the way. Okay, I truly believe that. Okay, and we're going to see him face to face. If we keep on the path. It said we're going to see him as he is. We're going to see him face to face. You know, he smell good. <laughs> and I can't wait. To literally, you know, the, the, this is what we're trying to speak into existence. But then you niggas pop up and you ruin that whole thought. You know, oh, my God, I'm going to see you. I wish I didn't hear you come. Okay. With the silk super long wave cap. All right. At working from home uh, uh, for a call center. Uh, got all day to just type shit on the computer. <laughs> you see the videos. All right. And you just got to find a way to to to, to uh, uh, strike. You need to be very, very careful of what you say to the men of the Lord. And we mean this. And this is this is this is a, a admonishment. This is a warning. This is uh first Peter's two and twenty one. For even here unto were ye called. Because Hamashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow in his steps. So he left us an, an example. And he didn't leave off from the mission. He went all the way to the cross. <laughs> he did it. He did it, man. Wow. That is the ultimate movie. This is the ultimate movie. Who did no sin, neither was gal found in his mouth. He was innocent. He was blameless. <laughs> he stuck to the script. Okay? As, as hard as it got and as lonely as it became at times for Yahweh Shai, he didn't turn back. And he didn't make the, uh, uh, the uh, discomforts and afflictions he didn't make that the end of the story and a lot of you when you get offended that's the end of the story or you're going to try to destroy everything you once believed and that's the uh, a very dangerous way and it's very disrespectful and it's going to be dealt with very soon all right call hello yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right uh you know the, the, we're living in some serious times it says who when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judged righteously. So he he knew, look, the Lord is going to get you niggas anyway. He told the uh, wicked scribes and Pharisees, he said, how shall you escape the damnation of hell? Meaning the, you, uh, th those spirits were created for judgment. Okay, they're going to suffer. Uh, uh, the Lord is going to have them niggas in the missiles see on this side while they were alive they were never created to enter into the kingdom of heaven in the sense of this wisdom you see but through the elect being established those spirits will enter back into the fold because ultimately they're israelites which the whole seed of israel is going to be justified before the heavenly father in the scriptures not one of those spirits will be blameless that is his intent for his chosen possession. You, it's not yours. Who are you? Who are you to tell the Lord that he's gonna he's gonna burn uh, two thirds of Israel forever? Which how does flesh burn forever? All right, or how will you burn a spirit? Okay, uh, it doesn't make any sense. At some point, the, the the it's gonna burn into a crisp. Okay, now the heavenly Father can take a time period of four minutes and make it feel like eternity <laughs> he, he he he's uh the 
the distributor of how what time is the way we look at time here is so low level it's used as a a, 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 a to keep you on a schedule of, of a slave okay to uh to uh particular situations on earth so it says who who his own self bear our sins in his body on the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes we ye were healed okay for ye were as a sheep going astray when we were in this world man we were going astray but now a return unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls man okay and how do you follow Yahweh shot through the men he sent that's how the church flowed all right it was all in the order of the men of the lord who who follow Yahweh and then went out to these different regions and particular churches started being set up. That was the church of Yahweh man, in Rome. That's where camps really, uh, uh, that was the beginning of camps, okay? <laughs> and even before that, you know, you had the different sects of Israelites, you know, the scribes, the Pharisees. And that's another thing. We need to do a video going into what an actual Pharisee is because people just throw the term Pharisee around, all right? But it doesn't even match because the Pharisees were strict about salvation through the law. So if you're going to call somebody a Pharisee, at least go into the, the, the history of the Pharisees and show the people of Israel how it applies. Or are you just saying that because you, you just want to argue? And the Pharisees argue with Yahweh Shai, and you arguing with me. So, nigga, you arguing with Yahweh Shai. What? The, the Pharisees were strict to the law. When when have we ever uh, uh, been uh, uh, strict on outward appearance and having this on your clothes and this? The, 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 the church of Yahweh Shai didn't flow like that, man. All right? Now, they, they, they kept the laws. Don't get it twisted. You had a lot of the uh, circumcision. You know, Peter, you know, the disciples, they all were from the, they were raised as Israelites. So they were into the law. Don't get it twisted. All right. But they were preaching that salvation wasn't through perfection in the law, but through faith in Yahweh Shai, man, in a way that you walk, which it has to be patterned after Yahweh Shai. Let's go back here to Sirach 20. And five, there is one that keepeth silence and is found wise, and another by much babbling becometh hateful, constantly talking. See, and that's a, a culture amongst our people, man, that you bring into the truth. Some man holdeth his tongue because he hath not to answer, and some keep it silent, knowing his time. You gotta know your time, man. You gotta know when to strike, man. You that's why the scriptures say be as wise as a serpent. Serpent ain't just going to strike you because you there. He knows good and goddamn well he can eventually be crushed. He's very, very careful when with how he strikes. You have to apply that to who you are. You can't be a hothead. You can't be disrespectful, rash, rude. You always got to keep yourself in check. Now, the Lord does use the men of the Lord to rebuke. Okay. And ultimately, it comes with a building up. We go into the video to show you why you're wrong, but you get rebuked at the same time, okay? At least we're offering a way that you can repent. A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a babbler and a fool will regard no time. You're just constantly talking, okay? And don't get it twisted. You have brothers uh, uh, in, in the brotherhood who do talk more than others, okay? But they they do they do apply wisdom, okay? A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a babbler and a fool will regard no time. He's just going. Uh, he doesn't understand who he's in front of. You know, you got heads of camps in front of younger brothers living like goddamn. All right, uh, 1998 college fraternity boys. Okay? Horrible leadership. See, saying particular things about other brothers, not 
taken into account you in front of a young brother you're pushing this vibration and culture of just rash rude disrespectful garbage you're not fit to lead okay you need to go to the back of the line okay and 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 and, and uh, do do your own thing and let's see what you do from there you see he that useth many words shall be abhorred and he that talketh take it to himself authority therein shall be hated uh, somebody who's a complete tyrant okay and you have men like that and that's why you uh, amongst the the brothers they they they're happy you're going you you you're like you're like hated <laughs> All right. And really, it's the way that you the, the spirit you come in that brothers hate, because if men repented and did what was right. OK, we hey, 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 call hello. Y'all about shy, man. All right. There is a sinner that had success and good and evil, good success and evil things. And there is a gain that turneth into loss. OK, and gain in this world. All right. It's going to turn into a loss. This is why we have been practicing abstinence from this world to the best of our abilities, taking our expectation, our spirit out of this world. And those of our people who invest in this world, all right, and have, you know, a belief that America is, you know, the beacon of light and want to see a success. Well, you're going to see all of what you believed in turn into a lost. OK, let's go here to the book of. Uh, Sirach 5 and I got a few more and 9 it says win on not in every wind and go not in every way for doth for doth so doth the sinner that hath a double tongue you have many of you who watch all these different camps and you're confused and then you come to our page calling on the wrong name being disrespectful you know we call on you how about you why are you going to put the name of your God on our page just say good video man we we teach the name is yahweh and yahweh shah don't come put no weird ayashua uh, and all this other crazy no man i don't want to hear it because you know at the every at the beginning of every video we call on yahweh bashim shy or you just watching all of these other camps now you come and tell them well i like this about them y'all need to be more like them hey man get get, get out of here you're, you're, you're like a little child. And some of you be 48. Okay? Acting like a little ass kid. Pressing inner for any goddamn thing. You don't have to. Every thought doesn't have to come into fluid. Wish it, man. People don't have to hear everything going on in your mind, man. Know when to say, know when to shut your ass up. But you have a lot of you with a double tongue, man. Be steadfast in thy understanding and let thy word be the same. A lot of you don't know what the hell you're a part of. You're not taking this thing serious. You have to be steadfast and know this is not a game what we're a part of. This is the biggest thing going in the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Nothing is bigger than this. No, no Jake has what we have through the Holy Spirit. As the remnant elect, wherever you may be. The Lord's favor is over you. Okay. It says. Be swift to hear. And let. Okay. Oh, right here. Be steadfast and I understand it. And let thy word be the same. Speak who you are. Okay. Don't be all over the place with a double tongue. Okay. Coming with all of the, 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 the this, uh left hand energy you know creating you know particular situations and try to manipulate people to believe you're a victim it's just weird let your yay be yay your nay be nay man be who you are man be swift to hear and let thy life be sincere and with patience give answer if thou hast understanding answer thy neighbor if not lay thy hand on thy mouth <laughs> and a lot of you don't know the scriptures man OK. And you speak on matters. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. One West, this and that. look, man, it, uh, uh, whether you like it or not, if you learn from the apostles and the elders and the brothers, 
you learn from a camp that comes from one west that's a part of your foundation just like the temple was a part of the foundation of the church but they separated from the temple see the, the apostles and elders separated from that school because it became corrupt just like the temple at the time of Yahweh Shai, but the truth still came out of there through John the Baptist's father Zacharias who had John okay and he was serving in the temple Zechariah all right and Elizabeth all right were of the lineage of Aaron okay <laughs> so when John grew up you notice he went into the wilderness he wasn't in the temple he was a Levite he wasn't near that 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 corrupt behavior. He went out into the wilderness and preached how was I? Okay. Let's see here. Honor and shame is in talk, and the tongue of man is his fall. See? The, the, the tongue of a man, what you say can be your downfall, man. A lot of you people are setting yourself up for judgment. Be not a whisper and lie not in wait with thy tongue. See, you got people who who are acting like they're down with you, but they have all of these various different uh, 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 opinions and views that you never know about all right, until they get kicked out. If you got if you're in a GMS camp and you got a problem with the doctrine or you got a problem with something that the apostles teach. You should say something now. Don't wait until you get tossed out of the camp like DJ uh, Jazzy Jeff. Okay, tossed out of the mansion. You get tossed out of the house. And then all of a sudden, these all of these grievances that you were never man enough to deal with us face to face on. Now all of a sudden they manifest and you push it to Israel as the gospel. Like, wait a minute, why you why you didn't say nothing when you were with me? So don't be a whisper and lie not and wait with thy tongue, for a foul shame is upon the thief and evil condemnation on the double tongue. You got a lot of people with a double tongue, man. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. Okay? And you have to use this 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 truth to gain understanding of your how about Shemiao Shai, man. You have access. Okay. This is the book of Sirach 20. What not just in Sirach 20? No. Sirach 20. And 5. There is one that keep it silent. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Yeah, I read that one. Sirach 19. And four, he that is hasty to give credit is light-minded, and he that sin it shall offend against his own soul. So you don't want to be hasty to give credit. Men have to be vetted out. Okay, men have to align align themselves with the Holy Spirit. You have to see, all right, that someone is hungry and appreciative of this truth before you just give them credit. Whoso taketh pleasure in wickedness shall be condemned, but he that resisteth pleasures crowneth his life. So you have to understand you're not here to forward your lust. Now, the Heavenly Father gives us leisure to where, you know, we do the things we like to do. All right. But the scriptures talks about, you know, the mindset of a follower of Yahweh Shai is to put this world off. So you're not here to, do, to, to feed into your lust. You have to conquer your lust. Your brothers have to conquer the thought or even, you know, um, the strength that women, the stronghold that come with women. You have to overcome that. Some brothers are still fighting that fight, and that's not conducive to the 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 the, the, the uh, war. All right, here it is. You at war, all right, but you're you you you're all into you know the woman, all right. Paul gave us clear instruction in that. Now, if you have a woman, there's nothing wrong with loving your woman. There's nothing wrong with all right. That's the way between you and your woman is your way. All right, I can't, you know, <laughs> you do that, all right, but apply wisdom as you do that. That's the only advice I have. I can, outside of that, I have nothing else to say. That's between you <laughs> and, and so you have to conquer, all right, and not allow a woman to, to, to become 
a stumbling block in your walk, man. All right, if it becomes a stumbling block to your walk, all right, and to where you you can't properly serve the Lord, you got to separate from that woman. Now, if the woman is down with you, you down with her, she know what you do, you ain't, she ain't worried about, she ain't all, you know, getting, going crazy when you with the brothers, hey, then you can deal with that. All right, and if she, you know, remain with you, the Lord is going to reward her because you got to understand, under the men of the Lord, uh, the women are going to be blessed of our nation. Okay, it's not going to be no low level blessing either. So our women have a lot to look forward to, both men and women. Okay, but it's going to come through Yahweh Shai and the 144 being established as a government. We we must understand that order. You see, that's what you niggas don't understand. <laughs> All right, is that the what, what's happening here is Revelation the 14th chapter. The new song is being sung, which leads into a victory. Okay. Let's see here. Verse 6. He that can rule his tongue shall live without strife, and he that hated babbling shall have less evil. So, you know, sometimes, you know, it's best, okay, to not say what's all on your mind. You may hear some on the video that challenges, you know, your, your thought process or your, your thoughts on something. Okay, if you, you know, have a sincere question as to why I would say what I said, cool, but to, to get to come onto the comment board and project your emotions on, you know, on, into a, a paragraph and formulate it and press enter and, you know, well, what about the man? You, you're talking about the women. Well, what about the men, the men, the men fault? You know, like, well, well, shut up. Both parties are blamed in the scriptures, man. Whenever we feel fit, because we talk about men more than we talk about women you see but women is, is such a, a stronghold in this world because the god of this world rules the energy of this world so he used the the role of a woman all right for the purpose of destruction where you know amongst a woman being her natural order she's more safe she's more a nurturer she's able to project and use her emotions in the household dealing with the children who she is works for the benefit of the business Okay, and this is what we have to understand coming back into this truth, natural order and the legacy that's being restored in these latter days through the Holy Spirit, which was prophesied in Ezekiel the 37th chapter. Away, the spirit will be breathed upon the dry bones. So th th these things apply as well. Don't just throw away the wisdom books and try to jump into Revelation 18, 17. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, but it don't matter what prophecies come to pass. If you ain't in the spirit and you ain't walking in the way of righteousness to the best of your ability, you give yourself a better chance of being destroyed. So he that can rule his tongue shall live without strife. Okay. Conquering that demon of a woman. You don't always have to say something. When you see a pretty woman, you always have to say something. Know when to strike. Okay, be be mysterious, man. Don't just be out there. Okay, rule your tongue. Sometimes not saying anything. All right, the Lord, you will be happy because once you say something, that leads to a whole <laughs> who know that can go anywhere, and it leads to strife in most cases when you meet people on the shores of the United States of America. Or anywhere in this world because everybody's full of demons. Okay? So you want to rule your tongue. Pray to the Lord on certain things that come to your mind. Don't always be so quick to react. And he that hated babbling shall have less evil. This is Sirach 4 and 29. Be not hasty in thy tongue. And in thy deeds, slack and remiss. All right? So you don't want to be slack. Okay? Let's look at this word, remiss. Remiss. Be not hasty in thy tongue, and in thy deeds, slack and remiss. So you don't want to be hasty with your mouth, man. 
It's a lot of you. All right. It says uh, remiss means lax in attending to duty, neg negligent, not energetic or exact in a duty or business. And what is our business? The kingdom of heaven. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. The way. Not careful or prompt in fulfilling engagement. I mean, you're just lethargic about what you have going on, man. You're hasty in your tongue. What you do is not applied to wisdom. See? Be not as a lion in thine house, nor frantic among thy servants. You don't want to be like that. You have a lot of people who are lions amongst the house, meaning the house of Israel. Okay? And in your own house. You're not supposed to live like that. All right? Complete uh, uh, demon and you know, overboard, overrighteous, constantly tearing down, constantly uh, harassing, and constantly just being a nigga. Hey, the Lord never gave us the uh, uh, the go ahead to be like that amongst our house, screaming and throwing shit. You're not supposed to be a lion in your house, okay? Now, how you deal is how you deal, but again. It must be applied, all right, and mingle with wisdom, okay? <laughs> all right, it says, nor frantic amongst thy servants. I really read that one. Sirach 22 and 27. Who shall I set? Who shall set a watch before my mouth and a seal of wisdom upon my lips that I fall not suddenly by them and that my tongue destroy me not? All right. And that's where you apply the fear of the Lord. See, the, again, the fear of the Lord. Let's get this in the book of Sirach, the first chapter. The fear of the Lord is vital in these times. You heard me? <laughs> it's vital in this time, you know? Being, You better be thankful whatever situation you're in. All right? You better be thankful because you, you, you could be left out there. All right? Sirach 1 and 21. The fear of the Lord driveth away sins, and where it is present, it turneth away wrath because... You, when you fear the Lord, you do what's pleasing unto him. Okay? And that's it. I mean, we could have read James, the third chapter. We can read that another day. You know, it talks about the tongue. Okay? And it's talking about how we, we can't speak death, you know, amongst the brotherhood. Okay? And at the same time, expect life to flourish. You, you got to be a walking representation of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you have to be a light. All right? And 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 what you say is a big part of that. What you do, your deeds. All right? So we need to, you know, in this time All right. As it says here, the tongue is a fire. <laughs> All right? So you have to bridle the tongue. You have to bridle your what you do. You have to constantly be um, in mind of the fear of the Lord. What what can happen? How can do I need to do this? Do I need to say this? What can this lead to? You can't just be a loose cannon. Anyway, hopefully y'all are edified on to the next shalom.